a special day because I have been waiting for Amazon to deliver this package uh, for more than a week now. In that I mean, uh, it was due a week ago and it arrived today. Now, uh, today is going to be an unboxing video of sorts, an unpackaging video. <laughs> Uh, and the funny thing is, is I actually have two packages on the way in the mail. So I think I know what's in this, but this could actually turn out to be a different video to what I had expected. What I believe to be in here are three books that actually went out of print. Uh, I found the first one ever in um in an op shop in in a uh, what do the americans call it in a pawn store i found it in a pawn store not that kind of pawn store i found it uh in an op shop because my nan and my mom used to take me op shopping all the time and it, i found out that it was quite rare because it had gone out of print but then um I realized that uh, after 2010, they reprinted it. So, I wanted to actually do a role play of one of these books because these books are actually quite different to uh, books that you will find in that uh, they are role playing games inside a book. They're a game book, kind of like Dungeons and Dragons. And I saw someone in the comment section, actually, of one of TR's videos. And I've seen Ephemeral Rift and Phoenician Sailor and uh, Massage ASMR. Many other of my um, favorite ASMR content creators go into this Dungeons and Dragons style stuff. But I've never actually seen them do a game quite like this. This was different because it had a very different type of gameplay. Where instead of following a story and making choices along the way, instead it was almost like an open world experience where you could travel from town to town and find different quests that were measured with special codes. So if you had particular codes, different events would happen in the book. Anyway, I remembered these books um, and wanted to do a video of me playing one for you guys. You know, almost like a, um, a game master. You would make the choices and I would narrate them back to you. So I had a look around at my house and I realized I couldn't find the book anywhere, it was gone. Which was a shame because I can tell instantly that these reprinted books are actually a lot smaller than the one that I used to have. The one that I used to have was A4 sized. About that big. And it was thinner. So, I went onto Amazon and ordered the first three reprinted books. And because I bought through Amazon, of course, I received it a week late with lots of tears and holes in the packaging. <laughs> so, I thought for my video today, uh, I'm pretty excited. I just downloaded a new game called Rust. But I told myself before I play my new game, I'd make a new video and uh, today we're going to be unboxing or unpackaging these books. Um, before I tear into this quite literally, um, I just wanted to give a massive shout out to everyone on the Q&A video who 
has been commenting questions for me to answer in my Q&A video. So, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll put a link in the description box below. And once you're done with our uh, unboxing video, you can go to that video. And if you have any questions or queries to me about anything, you can comment them or send it to me via personal message. And if I find it appropriate, I will answer. Um, I've already found my inbox flooded with a lot of questions that I'm not going to be answering. Um, but don't let that discourage you. You know, if there's something that you think I will legitimately be interested in answering, pop the question so to speak, and I will do my best to uh, quench your thirst for knowledge. So, back to the uh, task at hand. I remember as a child, there was something so magical about receiving a package in the mail. Not a letter. A letter was always... I actually... I, I grew up in a time where it was normal to write snail mail, handwritten letters to people. But... Um, that... I reckon by the time I was about eight, people stopped doing that. Uh, and by the time I was about ten or eleven, people were emailing each other, so... Anyway, let's unbox this. Now... In my last unboxing video, someone did say, oh my god, you use a desk. And uh, my answer to that is no. Uh, but what I will do is I will hold it a little more uh, stable this time. So you guys can actually see this thing getting unboxed. This is interesting. This is the book that I was talking about, the one that I found in an op shop. It was about double the size, and it was called, it is called, Fabled Lands, The War-Torn Kingdom. It was written by Dave Morris and Jamie Thompson. And let me just read out the blurb for you here. Let's maybe look at that high tech. Set out on a journey of fabulous adventure in lands to stagger your imagination. In the war torn kingdom, revolution rages in Sakara. You can join forces with the king to restore his throne or look for profit in the pay of the dictator General Marlock. Use fighting skills or sorcery, bribery, or skullduggery to survive the assassins in the city back streets. Descend to the sewers of Yellowport to defeat the vile Rat King Scab. Retrieve the golden net of the gods from the repulsive ones deep beneath the sea, and use the rewards of all your victories to travel beyond the boundaries of the known world. So, interesting thing in these books, and this is a, a, another key difference. Say I reach the edge of the map in this book. It's like a choose-your-own-adventure. Say I reach the edge of the map. There is now a corresponding entry in this book. And say I have some fun in this book and then I reach the edge of the map. I can go back or book three. And oh, I should probably also add 
the cover art looks exactly the same. Although, I have to say, it's a digital copy printed on soft cover. And the other one, it, I don't know, it just, it was printed differently. It looked a little better. It's the same cover art. Actually, yeah, yeah, it is. So it's this particular little hero. And he has his little bow and his sword and uh, he's about to ambush some soldiers. Wow, this is just taking me back. I used to go on long car rides with my mom and she'd be running errands and I'd be playing this game. So you play with a little die or a pair of dice and uh, you have a pencil and a rubber and uh, an eraser and um, you would play by uh, for, for example it says uh, uh, entry 387 you are on a road between Karen Baru and Trefoil you come to the weary pilgrim tavern a way station between the cities. The tavern costs you one shard a day. Uh, shards are like coins. Every day that you spend here, you can recover one stamina point if injured, up to the limit of your normal unwounded stamina score. If you want to spend three shards buying drinks all round so you can glean rumors, turn to 666. The number of the beast. To leave, you can go south, turn to 558. Five, north, turn to 347. West, into the forest of Laroon, turn to 47. Or east, to the lake. And so you would make a choice here. And as it said, there are certain stats that you could um, measure, like your health. And um, you had different scores for different abilities. So this, in a way, this is the precursor to the RPG computer game and console games like uh, World of Warcraft and, and whatnot. So it's kind of like Dungeon, Dungeons and Dragons, but it was single player. And later on, after the remastered version came out, there was actually a tabletop version. I'm sorry if I'm nerding out here. So the, uh, the tabletop version is like a group. Dungeons and Dragons style thing. Whereas these game books were solo. So you've got a little map here. I'm like a kid on Christmas. I, I can't believe how long it's been since I've read this book. And you know, it might be kind of lame the second time around, but when I was 11 or 12, this was just the coolest thing. I remember sitting in the car on the way home from the op shop. I didn't even read this thing. I just thought it looked cool. And I had this big book in my hands and I flipped it open. And I actually remember this smile on my face just growing and growing. Like, because I was so excited. I was so excited to play this new game. Fabled Lands is unlike any other solo role-playing game. The reason is that you can play the books in any order, coming back to earlier books whenever you wish. You need only one book to start, but by collecting other books in the series, you can explore more of this rich fantasy world. Instead of just one single storyline, there are virtually unlimited adventures to be had in the fabled lands. All you need is two dice, an eraser, and a pencil. If you have already adventured using other books in the series, you will know your entry point into this book. Turn to that section now. If this is your first fabled lands book, read the rest of the rules before starting at section 1. You will keep the same adventuring persona throughout the books, starting out as just a, a first-rank wanderer in the war-torn kingdom, 
but gradually gaining in power, wealth, and experience throughout the series. Now, in this, you have um, different professions, and these determine your initial skills and different abilities. So there is charisma, which is, you know, befriending people, combat, which is fighting, magic, which is spell casting, um, sancticity, which is uh, divine power and wisdom, scouting, which is uh, tracking, and thievery. So the different um, uh, professions. Uh, uh, the priest, which is high in sanctity and low in thievery. Mage, which is high in magic and low in sanctity. Rogue, which is high in thievery and low in sanctity. Troubadour, which is high in charisma and low on scouting. The warrior, which of course is high in combat, but low in thievery and magic. And then wayfarer, who are high in scouting, but low in charisma and magic. Uh, so you also had a, um, in, in this game, you had the ability to uh, buy a ship and different properties. And I don't know, it, for any of those, uh, for, for those of you who ever played the game Fable, it was like the text version of that. It was just so much fun. So, uh, two little pieces of action for you guys to undertake. One, head to the Q&A video. I'm going to pop a link down in the description box below. And uh, ask me, fire off a question. I, I will answer pretty much anything that I find is not, you know, crazy out there. And there have been some really good questions so far, so have, have a read, see if there's anything that hasn't been asked, and uh, I'm, I'm sort of interested in some of the questions that are coming in. And the other thing is, I'm going to get around to doing that roleplay video where it's me running you through this book. And... I want you guys to come up with a name for our adventurer. At the back of this book, it's a, uh, it's kind of hard to see, an adventure sheet. Uh, it's name, profession, rank, uh, all your possessions and money and whatnot. We're going to have an adventure through these games. And I want you guys to uh, choose a name by commenting or by upvoting a comment that you like. And the name, the comment that has the most upvotes, I will select that one. So, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for joining me. And uh, make sure you hit subscribe uh, so you can, you know, get more of my wonderful uh, 2 a.m. content. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Enjoy.